What's the best way to look inside your brain while you're having a psychedelic trip? We all trip, and we all want to know what's going down in the brain as it happens. You've heard of MRIs and fMRIs. It's a way to look deep inside the brain using the power of magnetism. Lots of good psychedelic research has come from using fMRI. But there's a new way to look inside the brain while having a psychedelic trip, and it's called FNIRS, Functional Near Infrared Spectroscopy. And it uses the power of light to investigate the brain. It works by using little light bulbs called optodes that shoot out photons of red light that penetrate your skull and ultimately touches the top of your brain, an area called the cortical region. Based on how this red light bounces off the blood in your brain, you can determine if the blood has oxygen or if the blood does not have oxygen. And when it comes to determining brain activity while tripping on psychedelics, it's all about the blood inside your brain. The upside to FNIRS is you can actually move your head while getting your brain scanned. With fMRI, you can't move your head at all. But the problem with FNIRS is you can't look deep inside the brain while tripping, like you can with fMRI. However, if you're interested in knowing what a person is seeing while they're having a psychedelic trip, then maybe you don't need to go deep in the brain. That's because there's an area of your brain called the visual cortex, and it's located at the top of your brain in this cortical region that FNIRS can look at. From this visual cortex, we can see interesting real-time data on what a person is seeing inside a trip. If something in their trip is happening on the right side, left side, top, basically any direction. If a person is tripping in vivid color, or muted black and gray colors. You can see if a person is seeing visuals flying quickly past them, or if they're looking at something that isn't moving. And you can also see if a person is seeing a face inside their trip. Detecting all of this in the brain requires an incredible understanding of FNIRS techniques and methods, and it's not that easy. FNIRS is great for determining how the sensory area of the brain detects your reality, real or imaginary. And I use FNIRS in my DMT research at Maastricht University. Bro, if you wanna be at the forefront of the future of psychedelic neuroscience, and start learning FNIRS today.